Hello, my gorgeous YouTube friends. I hope everyone's having a swell day. Well, most of this video is going to be spent with me not talking, but I will be doing a voiceover. But I just wanted to go ahead and let you know what we're going to do today. This is going to be my Halloween look for the vampire. Now, I'm not doing your typical over-the-top um, scary evil vampire. What I want to do is something a little more like Twilight and the Cullens or True Blood with Bill Compton and Eric. So it's going to be the modern day as interpreted by Stephanie Meyer and Charlene Harris vampire. So very minimal, just, you know, um, you can either take this two different ways. You can go the Cullen way, the Twilight way, and get some honey or gold contacts. Or you can go the True Blood way or the Bill Compton way and get some fake fangs. So either way, it's up to you. I'm not going to do either one. I'm going to leave, you know, just the face makeup and it be up to your interpretation. I guess if you want to say which one I'm going to do, it's probably going to be more like the Cullens minus the contacts. Because I don't want to put any contacts in. Plus, I don't have any honey, honey colored contacts. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm starting this off really whitening my face up and so you can use a really light foundation or I've used Polish Ivory Pigment. It was from MAC, I think it's discontinued now, but like I said, you can use a light foundation that will work just as well. This is just to make you look really porcelain and light. Now I'm taking the Hip Pigment in Brazen. It's got a dark brown and a light pink and I'm kind of mixing the two together and I'm using those as my um, contour here. The song I'm playing now is called Let It Be Me by Ray LaMontagne. It's like my favorite song right now. I can't stop listening to it. So now you guys get to listen to it. And the next song will be Flyin' by Regina Spector. Don't worry if you apply too much. All you have to do is take your, your blush that you applied your foundation, or your brush that you applied your foundation, and blend it out so it looks a little bit more natural. You still want it to be really defined, though, because you were wanting your cheeks and stuff to look kind of sunken in. You just can't seem to find a place For every door you open light And making funny faces when you blend is necessary. Now I'm putting it on the inner part of my nose to sort of create, again, that, that depth, that sunken in look. I'm applying it with that same brush just so I get a really soft blend rather than a harsh line of blending. And you can see it really does start to um, look hollow, make me look like I need to go to bed. <laughs> now I'm taking my 224 brush from MAC, taking the two colors and blending them together again. And this way I have more, a little bit more precision because I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes to really um, create that vampire, dead in, no sleep ever <laughs> look. I realized afterwards that I probably put a little too much on. I mean, you still want to look approachable, especially if you're going for a Cullen um, kind of look, a Twilight look. So I've tried to blend it out, and then I ended up going back in with that polished ivory and kind of going over it a little bit. So it didn't look too scary. You know, you want to you wanna be able to fit in with people and just look sleep-deprived rather than, you know, like a zombie. Now I'm taking this Jane Airedale 24 karat silver. Um, you can use any really light silver glittery pigment, but I'm putting this on kind of to highlight the skin and also it's going to work a little bit like as if the vampires were out in the sun. It's my kind of version of the dazzling um, shimmer that comes off their skin, but I also wanted it to be, you know, you still want to be pretty for your prey. And my eyebrows as well. I use the Sephora eyebrow palette. It comes with two different colors and a setting wax and then I apply it with a Smashbox eyebrow brush. So I'm just using the dark brown color to do my eyebrows right now. 
Now I'm applying YBF. Um, it's also called Your Best Friend Mask or not mascara lip gloss, and it's called Complex Pink. But it really does neutralize the lips with still giving them some shine because it's like a really golden neutral color. And this would be just my normal everyday face if I didn't apply makeup. But I figure some vampires would still want to um, be made up. But here's your finished face if you just want to be a plain vampire with no makeup. Now I'm applying Luna from MAC. It's a cream color base. I'm just applying it with my finger over my lid. I didn't want anything too heavy. Now I'm taking Gorgeous Gold. And again with my 224 type of brush, I'm putting it in the inner corner um, to kind of brighten it up a little bit. So this is going to be a really, really basic makeup. Um, just something to look like you have a little bit of you know, makeup on. Now Satin Taupe I'm taking, again, same brush, just coming from the outer, uh, outer corner, blending it into the gorgeous gold. I wanted something that was kind of neutral with a little bit of shine to it. Now I'm taking a brown cream shadow. This is in the Smashbox uh, Brow Tech palette. And I'm putting it on my lower lash line. And then afterwards I'll come in and I'll put it on my lower waterline as well. Just gives you some definition without doing black. Now I'm, I'm using the Smashbox mascara. It's in that raisin color. Um, the same color it showed on the packaging is what color it is. So I didn't want to do anything again too harsh. I didn't want to do black. I thought it was typical. Here's my finished vampire face. Do I scare you? Let's go down. Let's elevate our only goals of today.